Well, I'm up here in Ozark. We're going to see if we can get a few splits out of these bees today. It's uh, been super busy. Yesterday I took off work. I went up to the farm, made a bunch of splits, went to Slocum, made a bunch of splits. It was truly an adventure. I had planned out how it was all going to go. It didn't go that way. I did do a video on a tearing off split, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while. And so I've already posted that this morning. If y'all want to go check it out, that'll be awesome. I'm going to try and find a couple of splits here that work out well to maybe get some video footage. And the system I like to use is a three-part system. And the first part I'm going to show you here. And then we'll do the second part this afternoon. And then the third part will be tomorrow. And there's so many ways to do splits, just so many ways. There is no real right way or wrong way. And uh, you never know what you're going to find in these uh, hives. Yesterday, I was part of my problem is I found uh, queen cells in some of the hives uh, had some hives that were on the verge of swarming and it just didn't go smooth but we got a lot done i think yesterday we ended up with 17 or so that are set up for splits and i'm hoping to get about six or eight more out here put us between 20 25 something like that because uh, i got 20 to 25 cells coming tomorrow before we get started i just thought i'd show you this i ordered a new a bee jacket it's a pullover it's a guardian bee jacket and it's actually, it was like $99. It was very affordable. I had one last year. I loved it. I just wore that thing out. It had smoker burns all over it. And I just needed another one. So I got this one. And uh, one thing I like about these too is it's got this uh, zipper on the side right here where you can zip it up and down to get a drink or, or take a little break if you need to without taking the jacket off. Let's go get in some bees. So what we want to do is have enough frames in the top box for a split. And I'm going to be doing my splits in nukes. So I want to have at least two to three frames of brood, a little bit of food, and plenty of bees. I think I must have just added some comb in here when I added the second box. I think I did it actually back in the fall. So they're still working on this a little bit. That's okay though. See how they're drawing out that beautiful new wax? I love this time of the year when they do that. It's so cool. The bees are wrapping the camera up over there. I hope you can, hope they're not getting in the way too much. Ooh, this hive gets a little feisty. This is one of my traditionally rough hives. I've got probably three or four that just are crazy all the time, it seems. So the principle here is we want to shake all the bees down into the bottom box. That way we don't want to, we don't have to find the queen. There are some eggs right here, which means we got a queen. A little bit of food up here. They're just kind of drawing this out. So I'm actually just going to put these frames over in this other box over here. I first learned this technique or a variation of it from Walls Bee Man years ago. I've used them many times, and then last year I saw a video, I think, uh, from Bob Benny, who does a similar thing. Of course, everybody does a little bit different. This is my take on it, and when you got hives that has ver have various type boxes, you got mediums and deeps, it becomes a little complicated. So I thought this one would be perfect because it's a double deep, and I think we got enough brood in the top, it's going to set up really nice. So that is a beautiful frame of brood right there. Got food around the top. Shake all the bees off. Gotta make sure the queen is not up here in the top. No queen cells. I think this one's gonna work out good. Yesterday I tried to do this, ran into all kinds of issues. Queen cells or just didn't go smooth. So I thought I'd give it another whirl today up here. all that brood that's a queen cup but I don't don't think it's a active cell at all I don't see any kind of royal jelly or anything in there this does add an extra step than to just doing uh, blind splits or walk away splits or whatever and I do some of all the different kinds um, you find the queen I just have a hard time I think I've said this before I typically I can find her lots of times but I have a hard time much of the time finding the queen if I'm trying to find her and it just I waste a lot of time trying to do that. 
So the easiest thing is to find a method where you don't have to find the queen. Yesterday with the tearing off split, you don't have to find the queen in that type. And this type you don't either. There's another queen cup. I don't think it's viable. Nice healthy hive that is probably going to explode this year, I think. Nice frame of pollen. I'm going to pull this top off or this top box off and let me show you what it looks like in there. You got quite a few bees. I'm going to shake them down on there. They typically will fall in when you shake them. See on the corners? How like that? And now you have a hive full of bees. Now, I know the queen's got to be below, right? Since we shook all the bees down. Let's scrape this, make it level. And we're going to set a queen excluder on here, like this. Then I'm going to take this, set it on top. So now there are very few, almost no bees up here. And I'm going to let this hive sit here like this with queen excluder. The bees from the bottom, the nurse bees will come up and hop on these frames of brood up here. And then I'll come back later and pull the frames I need to out of this box into a nuke box and take them to a different location. And then tomorrow we're going to introduce a queen cell. This one worked out perfectly. Um, if you have like a single uh, deep that is super strong and you want to split this way you can do it you just pull up the frames you need maybe three or four frames or whatever you want to split into the top box and you can go ahead and put your uh, new comb or uh, empty uh, drawn comb in there in the bottom box and get it ready so all you have to do is come back take the frames off the top and go and it works well I'll put a piece of red tape on the front of the box where I'm going to pull the split and so that makes it easy too to remember where all the splits are. Uh, yesterday I think I did 17 or 18 at the farm and in Slocum. And then today I'm hoping to get anywhere from three to eight. I need, I need 20 to 25 uh, splits so I can put cells in them. I might just turn this into three. There's a lot of daggum bees in this thing. Holy smokes. It's designed to just pull this box, set it on there, put a top on and go. Uh, but I think I'm going to turn it into three splits. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that to make sure they have plenty of room. There's plenty of brood, plenty of food in all these boxes here. Even a two frame split will be sufficient for these bees. That's a frame that they're just starting to draw out. Make sure I'll leave them brood in here. Yeah. I think we'll be good. And I can move the frame up from the box below if I need to. Lots of bees in here. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll tell y'all, I didn't do a lot of overwintering in nukes this year, but they usually do well. This is a prime example of what can happen. Look at that. All that braid. A bit of food on that one. Plenty of bees in all of them.
these are going to be what I would probably call a two to three frame split but this time of the year a lot of brood in there a brutal hatch or emerge and they'll be pulling in food I think like crazy So we're making one colony into four here. My plan is to feed them when I get them in their new location, but that'll probably be tomorrow when we put the queen cells in them. So I'm actually just gonna put another box on this one. This is where the queen is. And uh, actually I think I'm gonna pull a frame up, get them started using the top box. Real easy. I know she's in here because I saw her yesterday. So now this is a double deep nuke. Plenty of room for these bees now. There should be. And uh, hopefully they'll move up and do their thing. Just as simple as that. I've got most of these set up where I can do that. It's a little different when you got the 10 frame boxes. But my, my goal is to get the ones over the queen excluders, three or four frames of brood, put in nuke boxes like this, and then get on out of here. We're gonna take these down to Slocum and put queen cells in them tomorrow, and hopefully they'll turn into some nice splits. Well, today's the third day of a busy three days. Uh, we've done 25 splits or so, and today we're gonna introduce queen cells to the new splits. But I'm excited. Most of the hard work, the heavy lifting is done. Now we just gotta get these cells in here. I'm down here in Slocum, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Well, I uh, set up this swarm trap a couple of days ago when I was down here getting splits prepped, and we got us another swarm. I don't know how my bees are swarming. I've broken them down and split them so much, but here we go. I guess it's possible they're feral bees from out here in the woods somewhere, uh, but they're probably from my bees, who knows. Okay, I have the cells in this incubator right here. I wanna keep it around 90 degrees, low 90s. There they are. I got 30 right here, 25 are mine and five for another uh, friend of mine. All right, I'm gonna introduce a, a cell to this new split right here. We brought these down uh, from another location yesterday. I think there's six new ones in this Slocum Bee Yard here. Smoke them a little bit. So all you have to do on these is quite simply, you take the cell, uh, to put it, make sure it's not like where the feed is going to be. I'm just going to kind of separate the frames a little bit. Set it down in there. Like that. 
and these cells are scheduled to emerge either this evening or tomorrow so they're very ripe so just put the cell in here like that and put the lid back on put the food on it and this one should be ready to go the goal here is for the uh, little virgin queen to emerge get mated and establish a good strong hive Well, we got the cells introduced to 25 splits. This is the last spot up here in Ozark. The bees seem to jump on the cells pretty quickly. Exciting stuff. We're going to leave them alone for a couple of weeks and see what happens. I don't know how good this video is going to turn out. Just had a difficult time getting uh, really good footage. We had a lot of uh, technical difficulties. Just some weird stuff with the bees. There's no way I can keep include it all in this video. But I did want to just kind of share with you my three-step process. Uh, where, first of all, I shake all the bees below the queen excluder. Dang, they've been real nice to me until I start doing the video. Dang it. Have to put on my daggum bell. Well, that's just an example of how it's been. Uh, just crazy three days here. Uh, first day, had some weird things with the bees. Uh, yesterday, had some technical difficulties. Maybe I was, I'm going to be able to get a decent video out of it. Today's gone pretty well introducing the cells to the splits, and it's really cool. I look forward to seeing how they do. Uh, last year, I had really good success introducing cells like this uh, from sleeping bear apiaries down in, uh, just down south of Chipley, Florida. But I did want to remind you guys, if you saw my live a few days ago, I announced a giveaway we're going to be doing at 10,000 subscribers. Uh, we got a Laura Bees vaporizer here, $250 value. I love mine. It works really well. And Rob also sent a uh, respirator and the proper cartridges to be able to use it while you treat your bees. So that's it for today. Be watching for that 10,000 subscriber mark to enter the contest. Uh, Y'all take care and be safe.